Thank you for having me here today. I decided to make a video hoping, hopefully I can expose uh, some of the other things that I've done, done in the building and some other activities I've been a part of for our kids in Brick Township, especially in Brick Memorial High School. Uh, this year I've been in charge of park, uh, park management, the ASVAB, and AP testing. I have managed all the teachers, rooms, facilities, and computers for this test throughout the building. As you know, it's a pretty strenuous activity, um, and I think we've done an excellent job testing over 35, uh, 35 areas just in the month of May alone. This year, I got the opportunity to work with the Ocean County Prosecutor, the Police Chief, and UFC Champion Frankie Edgar. We did a free uh, expo at Brick Township High School, which saw over 600 kids and parents attend. Um, if you've seen the video, you had the opportunity to see Frank Edgar throw me all over the place, and it was quite interesting. So I was happy and uh, lucky to be a part of that. In our high school this year, I thought we needed to, I thought we needed to recognize our students that take AP tests and that get fives on the AP test score. So in our hallway, you can see we have pictures. Um, pictures of our students of the month. We also have two Hall of Fame boards that I was able to design, create, and fundraise for and helped in the process of installing this. So I think this is something that's pretty important for our kids so they have somewhere where they're recognized for their academic achievements. This year I had the opportunity to be employed by the Brick Townships Recreation Department and during that time I was employed as the head wrestling coach of Brick Townships Wrestling, uh, wrestling Club and with it I got the opportunity to teach 320 elementary school kids grades K to 8 and it was such a such a great thing being able to give back to our community and to be involved with um, younger kids and to be able to educate them in the sport of wrestling and be their coach it was a great way to be a part of the community and I really did appreciate that. During and, and after the Marjorie Stone, Stoneman Douglas tragedy I created 623 ribbons um, in Marjorie Stoneman's school colors. And with that, we asked for donations for those ribbons. Our teachers, students, and administration wore those ribbons around the school. We made a donation to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School um, from those funds. Additionally, uh, through my re relationship with the Brick Township Recreation Department, I was able to secure two banners, which they had made for Brick Memorial High School and Brick Townships High School. Um, those, those banners were signed by students, faculty, and staff, and then we sent those to Marjorie Stoneman Douglas in support of their students and teachers. In late January, I got the opportunity to become the district's safety officer. Um, it is a great deal of responsibility for me. I'm in charge of the safety of every building in our district, along with our 10,000 students. Um, I've been attending workshops. I'm currently uh, working on becoming certified with FEMA. Additionally, I'm working with the SERAF uh, Solutions Group. A at this time, I have physically assessed every building within the district, and I am currently in, in the middle of interviewing all principals, custodians, and nurses to assess the safety of our buildings. So this has been a great opportunity for me. On Fridays, I've created something that we're calling Mustang Pride Day, and we've actually been running it for the last three years. So we've partnered with uh, Jersey Mike's, and what it is is on every Friday, we ask our teachers to, uh, teachers, staff, faculty, to dress up in green and gold or, or colors that support our school or uh, apparel that supports our school. And then we award one staff member, teacher, uh, administrator with a free sub lunch, uh, free sub soda and sandwich from Jersey Mike's and we do that on every Friday just to thank them for creating a positive school culture. So we call that Mustang Pride Day. Currently I'm serving on the district's grading committee and we are working on um, making the grades be more uh, congruent from the elementary school, middle school and high school. We're looking for a platform or format that better serves our students and we're looking to find grades that better represent um, who they are and will help them attain, um, help them become equal with our, our school districts around us. So currently working on the district's grading committee. I've been asked by Dr. Crawley from Georgian Court to sit on his um, committee for um, administrative assessment. That goes on every Thursday night uh, where we meet at Georgian Court and we're working on the assessments for 
aspiring principals, aspiring assistant principals, and we're looking to see the pros and cons of um, Georgian courts assessment as they go out into the field. So that's been a great opportunity for me to see um, pros and cons in the field and how I can better myself uh, sitting with higher level uh, thinking individuals. And basically we're looking to see um, the pros and cons and how we can help these young aspiring administrators move towards, um, move towards mastery of their own craft. I take ownership of my own education very seriously. Um, it's been a year-long process, but I'm happy to say that I've been accepted into Ryder University's doctoral program. I'll be beginning that uh, June, uh, excuse me, July 9th, and that is a three-year program, and obviously I'll be majoring in um, educational leadership. So I'm really excited to begin this program. I think it's going to open up um, many doors uh, to education for me, and I, again, I I'm, can't wait for this to happen. This is my 20th year in education. It has been an unbelievable journey for me. And I, when it comes to our kids, um, there's nothing that I won't do. I think it's evident in the things that I have done and my care for our students in this building that um, no stone goes unturned. And I am willing to put myself out for our kids at all costs. So I'll leave you with this. Oh! <laughs>